Hi students, welcome to session 1 of Forest, our lifeline. Students, in today's session we will learn about forests, the introduction to forests and we will also see forest profile. So let us start with today's interesting session of this lesson. Yes students, forests. Students, we already know that forests are an important natural resource. Can you say why? Can you think why? Yes, because forests are home to a variety of plants and animals. Even there are several trees, shrubs, mosses and mushrooms, birds and mammals, spiders, frogs and snakes that grow and live in forests. So. For these animals, for these insects, they are shelter, they are home to them, right? Forests are home to them. So human beings too depend on forests for a variety of things because they need to have many things which are necessary for them, which have now become a necessity for them, right? So human beings too depend on forests and that is why it makes it very important. So students, you will be very amazed to know that about one third of the world's land surface is covered with forests. So forests are different from one another depending upon where they are located like climate, topography, topography which is one of the physical features and soil type are some of the main factors that determine the type of trees and animals that grow and thrive in the forest. So depending upon the climate and topography there is a map which shows the current and former forest cover of the world. Now here you can see the dark green color shows the current status, the current forest cover of the world. The former one is of the light gray color and this green and light color is of the tropical forest while that of the temperate forest is marked with different colors. So here you can see that these are the current forest cover of the world, current te te temperate forest cover of the world, this is the current tropical forest cover of the world and some of the light portions you can see that is the former temperate forest cover of the world and the other one is the tropical tropical one that is the former tropical forest cover of the world right so this is the original and remaining forest cover right so this is the map showing the current and former global forest cover so students it depends upon the climate topography and soil type that determine the types of trees and animals that grow and thrive in a forest. Even the falling of trees and clearing of forests may have undesirable effects on all the life forms on earth. Right? So there are many consequences that lead to the depletion of forests. So we need to study the forest profile and we also need to study that how we can preserve and we can conserve it not conserve but how we can preserve it. So now let's study about forest profile. Students according to the height of plants and animals sorry height, so height of plants and trees forests can be divided into three layers namely canopy, crown and understory. Right? So here is a diagrammatic representation which shows diagrammatic representation of the layers in a forest which shows the different layers. So this is the forest floor, the bottom one is the forest floor. Above that comes the shrub layer where there are shrubs. Above that comes the understory, above that is the canopy and the most, the topmost one is the emergent layer. But but where is crown? Yes, somewhere here comes the layer of crown. Right? 
so forest floor shrub layer understory canopy crown and then then emergent layer right now here it's not linear wise crown can be here too or here too so canopy and crown are somewhat up and down right so basically how can we define these layers yes first of all we know that they are divided according to the height of plants and trees right so the uppermost layer of branches which serves as a dense roof of forest over the ground in a forest is called canopy so this one is canopy the layer where trees branch off from the tree trunk means this one is the crown and the shaded layer of the forest shaded layer of the forest where low light is available is called understory so it can be written as u n d e r s t o r y or it can also be written as u n d e r s t o r e y so it can be understory also or it can be spelled as understory also right so students india has a diverse range of forests and their uses are equally diverse there is a fact which i would like to share with you that india is said to be one of the 12 identified mega biodiversity centers in the world and it has over 45000 plant species and 1000 animal species sorry species so how amazing it is right so that was all about the introduction of forests and forest profile now we will move on to another interesting topic and that is uses of forests yes students uses of forests students we know very well that forest plays a major role in our life like early men and women they gathered food and they were dependent on forests for all their basic needs of food clothing and shelter too right so as time went by they learned the techniques of growing food by clearing small patches of land in the forests and in this way they were dependent on forests but they still remain dependent on forests for several other things and the need is still still continuing in human beings so we depend on forests for several things directly and indirectly so let us see what are the several things on which we are dependent on forests yes students you can see the beautiful picture of a tree which has huge huge roots right these are beautiful huge giant trees roots right so these roots bind the soil particles together these roots bind the soil particles together right so basically we depend on forests for several things like forests they prevent soil erosion and floods right the trees and plants like these huge trees and plants in the forests they prevent soil erosion and floods the roots are so so heavy and they are so supportive that they prevent the soil erosion and floods and roots of trees help to control soil erosion as roots bind the soil particles together and they prevent the soil from being washed away or blown away even you will be amazed to know that trees help to regulate the climate of a place and they absorb water from the ground through their roots and then they release some part of it as water vapor thus they help in keeping the air cool and they also help bring in the rain that is why we can say that forests help the balance help in the balance of the water cycle too trees also help in checking global warming by using carbon dioxide the main greenhouse gas for photosynthesis right so in short we can say that the roots of these trees which are in the forests they bind the soil particles together and help prevent 
the soil erosion and floods too now here you can again see the beautiful picture which is full of trees and water right so trees also act as wind breakers now what do we mean by wind breakers yes some trees such as coconuts and palms they help to break strong winds in coastal areas now here you can see some trees nearby the water and so this is actually termed as the coastal area right so some trees such as coconuts and palms help to break strong winds in coastal areas and hence they act as shields or wind breakers right so other than this also there are many such trees which are available in the forest which are actually present in the forest and we use many of the things from the from these trees which are in the forest so let us see yes here you can see again the beautiful picture of the trees right and here you can see big logs right so we can say that trees also provide us with timber why so yes we get timber from more than a thousand species of trees such as sal mahogany sorry mahogany teak and rosewood which plants which trees yes sal then mahogany then teak rosewood etc so these are some of the trees from which we get timber there are several timber based industries such as those of plywood sawmills paper and pulp and cardboards they are all dependent on these trees even we get we also get firewood from trees usually wood which is with low moisture content is chosen so that it can dry faster so in this way forests the trees of the forests are helpful other than these forests also provide us with fruits right so there are many fruits we get fruits and most dry fruits from forests like from the mango coconut orange pear jackfruit then lychee and apple etc they grow wild in forests and that is why we can say that we get fruits and most of the dry fruits from these forests other than this we also get several nuts and spices from the plants that grow in the forest like here you can see this is the beautiful picture of the almond nut the almond is also a nut it is considered to be one of the nut so this here you can see the picture that we get several nuts and spices from plants growing in the forests other than this plants such as neem eucalyptus amla and cassava which are white in color they are used for making several ayurvedic medicines and you will be very amazed to know that ayurvedic medicines do not create any side effects so we can consume these medicines which are very very herbal they are not toxic to our body right so from neem tulsi eucalyptus amla and cassava we can make many ayurvedic medicines and with which many diseases can be cured such as cancer it can also be cured with the help of ayurvedic medicines now here you can see again the beautiful picture of a tree named cinchona so cinchona trees provide us with quinine you might be knowing about quinine which is an important medicine for treating malaria so how beautiful plant a beautiful tree it is right 
can you think of these small structures which can play so important part in treating malaria right so cinchona trees provide quinine which is an important medicine for treating malaria other than this this is the beautiful picture of lemon grass right so students many varieties of grasses are also there such as lemon grass vanilla kevra and khas they are all the sources of several kinds of essential oils so they provide us with essential oils which can be used to cure many skin diseases too other than this this is a beautiful picture of the of the forest in which we can say that there are sandalwood eucalyptus and pine tree which are so tall they also provide us with oil which can be extracted from the wood of these trees from the wood of these trees so these oils basically are used in making soaps cosmetics intense uh, sorry incense medicines and as an essence for flavor and smell in bakeries and confectioneries so how beautiful it is right so we use it in many ways now here you can see one more picture of a rubber tree you might you all might be familiar with the rubber tree which secretes a liquid which is milky in color white in color which is milky right and from this tree we get latex right so forests are also a source of resins which are used to make varnish and paint even the latex which you can see here this is the latex right so it is used to make rubber then bamboo which is useful as fodder and it also serves as an important raw material for the manufacture of paper and pulp and also for the other scale small scale industries and then for other small scale industries right and even the sugar cane or the cane used to make walling as walking sticks for nature because they are very very strong right so cane can be used to make walking sticks for nature baskets picture frames mats screens etc right other than this we also get fiber other than this we also get fiber from plants such as cotton then jute and flax rami linen hemp etc which we studied in the very in previous grades so these are also some of the plants which grow in forests so we can get fiber from these forests so we can get fiber from these plants which grow in forests so basically we see that a forest is home to many types of plants animals and microorganisms and these living organisms depend on each other to survive right so we will see that how all the living organisms are dependent on each other in the forest right yes students so students we are through with session 1 in which in which we studied about the forest profile uses of forest too right i hope you like today's session so we will meet in the next session with a new topic of forests till then keep learning keep enjoying and have a nice time